Hey everyone, it's George Crows with another episode of the Innovators Mindset Podcast. I'm actually um, just had a long day and I usually don't record um, late at night, but I'm um, just having a moment and I was just thinking about some stuff and uh, looking at some things and I just kind of wanted to share maybe, I don't know if it's a year end message to you all. Um, this could be my last podcast that I'm recording for the year 2020. And I, I just wanted to share just a, something that just kind of happened to me the other day that I, I thought was kind of weird and, and different for me. Um, I was actually um, out for a run. And I was having a run. And I've been, and if you've been following me, uh, connect with me, I've been really trying to focus on my health this year. And lots of up and down, but I I'm, I'm finally feel like I'm starting to see some progress and you know I'm starting to get at a place where uh, I'm happy and I, and I finished a run I have a goal of steps that I want to do every day and I surpassed the goal and I felt good and I felt good for doing it and the weird thing that happened was I just said when I finished I'm proud of you now there's no one else in the room there's no one within 100 feet of me I just said I'm proud of you and I don't say that to myself ever I I say it to other people in fact I am happy to say it to other people you know in situations where I see something awesome happen or I see some like tremendous growth I don't say it to myself and I share this with you not because I'm actually looking for you to reaffirm that in any way to be honest with you I share that because do you do that yourself do you take that time to just say you know I'm proud of you to yourself and look in the mirror and think about what you've done think about this year and it's not about you but I have a goal that I'm, I'm trying to achieve I'm not there yet and I haven't achieved it and I'm proud of the progress. I'm proud of just kind of continuing to push on days when it's really tough. And I think about all the educators out there having a really tough year. And I've read so many stories, had so many great conversations on the podcast this year. And it's not about like you did this amazing thing and you wrote this book or you started this new thing. It's for some of you, and it's totally fine and I think for some days it's the same thing for me it's just getting through the day uh, where you feel overwhelmed where we have so many other responsibilities that we get through and I think it's important to just stop and say I'm proud of you to yourself because you would give that to other people no problem you would praise other people for doing that and we are so hard on ourselves when we, we have an expectation of what we can do. And I was talking to some people today and was thinking about, as I was recording some of these podcasts for 2021, and I said this, that we often give our best advice away to others for free, but we don't take it ourselves. We, we hold ourselves to standards and expectations that almost sometimes seem impossible to live in, but we don't take a step back and focus on like, what have we done? What have we become through this process? And I think just saying, I'm proud of you and saying in an authentic manner to yourself and looking at what did you do this year? And I don't know what your achievements are. I don't know what you did, but I know that you're here and you're listening to this. I know you're taking time out of your day to do this. And I think about a lot of friends that may have lost someone close to them and really struggled and watching them grow and deal with that and showing up and helping others and something to be pretty proud of. I see all the educators just going through really tough conditions and kids smiling and happy, even though school is nothing like it was last year. And so many people are creating that experience. It's not to say there's no bad stuff, right? Like, I don't want to get in this whole, like, well, you're not acknowledging. Yeah, everyone knows it's bad, but I'm, I'm talking about 
are you taking that time for just to appreciate what you've done to appreciate where you are in this moment and i hope that next year at the end of next year i don't know what it's going to look like nobody does like i thought this was a two-week thing and uh, i don't know but i just want to know that i'm going to still progress and grow and i think that's what the whole plan is for what we do in teaching and learning what we do in education it's not about getting to an end point it's about growing and, and developing as we go but understand that you can continue to grow there's no end to this but you gotta stop and just take a moment and appreciate and it was just as i said earlier it was just so weird that i don't know why what happened in that moment that i just stopped and said that to myself but I needed it. I needed to acknowledge that I've been working hard. I've been trying to get better. I'm trying to grow and I still got to go. And so just think about having that conversation with yourself, looking at all the things you've done in probably crappy circumstances and just appreciate it, whatever it is. And just have that moment to maybe say, I'm proud of you and talk to yourself. I hope you have a great, rest of your year. I hope you have a, a nice break and I hope you just have some time away from education and from whatever, or to be honest with you, maybe you have time with it, whatever you need that will fill your bucket to end the year and, and hopefully start off the next one. Right. Uh, I would say I'm proud of you, but I, I don't know who's listening to this. I'm sure you're doing great things and it's not about me saying it to you, it's about you saying it yourself. I just want you to think about and take that moment. So thanks for listening. And to all the people that have listened throughout the year, this is my first year doing this and uh, I've learned a lot. Hopefully I'm getting better at it, but thanks for being here and thanks for all you do for kids. Take care.